Welcome student friends. Today we are going to learn cell division, meiosis, which is carried out in eukaryotic cell as a cell division. I am Dr. Alka Inamdar in Alka's Botany channel. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. The term meiosis meaning to reduce was coined by J. B. Farmer and J. A. Murray in 1905 the cells of particular species of an organism shows a constant number of chromosome from generation to generation meiosis is the characteristic of gamete forming organism meiosis includes two successive divisions meiosis first and meiosis second meiosis first is a reductional division producing two haploid nuclei from a single diploid parent nucleus while meiosis second is an equational division which separates the sister chromatids of the haploid nucleus that is the products of meiosis first in meiosis first prophase first metaphase first anaphase first and telophase first these are phases of meiosis first Prophase first is again subdivided into five substages liptotin zygotin pachytin diplotin and dikinesis meiosis first is an important process which is called as reductional division it separates homologous chromosomes and produces two cells with haploid chromosome number that is n number for that reason it is known as reductional division meiosis first consists of four phases prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 prophase 1 is the longest phase it takes about 85 to 95% of the total time of meiosis it is much more complex phase prophase 1 is divided into five substages liptotin zygotin pachytin diplotin and dikinesis several events takes place in this stage and based on these events substages of prophase are classified in liptotin there is increase in nuclear volume and chromosomes appear as a long thread like structure and are unassociated with one another there is a very slight condensation of chromosomes so they become visible as a fine threads all of them remain together in nucleus and appear like a ball of knitting wool there is rna synthesis which is responsible for increase in volume of nucleus zygotin is the second stage it begins with initiation of pairing between homologous chromosomes and it ends when pairing is completed in this stage synthesis of a specific nuclear protein takes place that is called zygotin protein zygotin dna occurs and shows condensation of chromosomes the homologous patterns in each pair of chromosome exhibit pairing throughout the length that is they synapse and exhibit synapses due to synapses each pair of homologous chromosomes forms a structure called bivalent this is the third and important phase in which there is a further condensation of chromosomes and chromosome pairs become shorter and thicker the bivalents become distinctly visible during this stage now each of the two chromosomes of a bivalent is consists of two sister chromatids thus each bivalent shows four chromatids and due to this these bivalents are said to be a tetrad stage in this stage most of the species chromosomes are easily recognizable or recognized easily the nucleolus in this stage is still large distinct and found associated with nucleolar organizer region 
The crossing over between homologous chromosomes takes place during this stage and it is responsible for exchange of chromatin material. So chiasma formation is an important process is easily recognized in pachytin stage. Diplotin in this stage the homologous chromosomes of each bivalent begins to move away from each other and the two homologous chromosomes are found to be attached with each other at one or more points called chiasma. The chiasmata moves slowly towards the end of the homologous chromosome. This movement is known as chiasma terminalization means movement of chiasma towards terminal position in the chromosomes. There is a further condensation of chromosomes in the bivalents and progressively they become still shorter and thicker. In dikinesis, chromosomes become much more shorter and thicker again. The chiasmata if remains appear only in the terminal region of bivalents. The bivalents move towards the periphery, the nucleolus and nuclear envelope disappear and spindle apparatus is organized. This stage is the end of a prophase first. The second important phase is a metaphase which is a very shortest phase. All bivalents migrate to the equatorial plate. This is an important characteristic of metaphase first. The spindle fibers get attached to the centromeres of each of the two homologous chromosomes in a bivalent. Thus two centromeres of each bivalent are now found lying on opposite sides of the equatorial plate. Anaphase first. During this phase, the homologous chromosomes in each bivalent move towards the opposite poles and as a result, the number of chromosomes at each of the two poles of a cell is reduced to exactly half that is a haploid from the diploid chromosome number of parent cell. Thus, at the end of anaphase first, the chromosome present in the mother cell get separated into two identical groups, each with half the number of original number of the cell. Telophase first, in which the chromosomes persist for some time in the condensed state. The nucleolus and nuclear membrane reappear around each group of the chromatids, resulting in two separate nuclei. The spindle fibers do not disappear completely as in the mitosis. In most of the species, after this telophase first, interphase is absent while in some it occurs but for very short duration. There is no DNA synthesis during this interphase. In meiosis second, it is similar to the mitosis. It differs from mitosis in some event only. That is why it is also called meiotic mitosis. It shows four phases, prophase second, metaphase second, anaphase second and telophase second. The two daughter nuclei of meiosis first pass through these four stages of meiosis second. Prophase second. In this stage, further condensation of chromosomes takes place and chromosomes become still shorter and thicker. The nucleolus and nuclear membrane disappears and spindle apparatus starts to organize for the metaphase second. In metaphase second, nucleolus and nuclear membrane are absent. Spindle apparatus is present and two sister chromatids of each chromosome distinctly get separated from each other due to repulsion between them but remains attached to the centromere. The chromosomes become more condensed, shorter and thicker and becomes distinct. 
they are arranged at the equatorial plate during an of a second two sister chromatids of each chromosome move away from each other to the opposite poles as the centromere region splits longitudinally into two halves so only half chromosome move to the pole instead of complete chromosome till of a second the sister chromatids of each chromosome move to the opposite poles and the chromatids starts to uncoil the nucleolus and nuclear envelope reappears after this karyokinesis cytokinesis takes place at the end of telophage second the cytoplasm of each of the two cells of a dyad divides into two and as a result one parent cell produces four haploid daughter cells after completion of the two meiotic divisions thus four daughter cells inside the parent cell wall form the structure called as a tetrad in this way four haploid cells formed by meiotic division of a single diploid cell this is the summary of meiosis second where there is a two haploid cells are formed by the meiosis first they are passing through prophase second metaphase second anaphase second telophase second and then cytokinesis takes place for the formation of these four haploid nuclei at the end of meiosis and the significance of meiosis it maintains the constant and definite number of chromosomes in the organism the sexual reproduction in plants and animals became possible only due to meiotic cell division the crossing over in prophase first provides an opportunity to exchange genes and this causes genetical variation essential for evolution among the species in fact the meiosis provides the basic material that is a variation for evolution the segregation of chromosomes result in different combinations of chromosomes and ultimately different combinations of characters in all the daughter cells and the last one important significance parental characters are reshuffled due to which every gamete developing from the daughter cell shows a distinct set of characteristics after this brief significance of meiosis now we will watch the video of meiosis meiosis first begins with prophase 1 in which dna condenses to form chromosomes duplicated sister chromatids join together at centromere they stay fused together with each other at centromere throughout the meiosis first each pair of homologous chromosome undergoes synapsis to form a complex involvement in the two non sister chromatids chromosomal material is exchanged between two pairs of sister chromatids this is called recombination or crossing over after crossing over the sister chromatids of chromosomes no longer identical in prophase 1 the nuclear membrane begins to break down two centrioles start to migrate to opposite poles and start to form spindle fibers or microtubules attached to the chromosomes at centromere in metaphase first all chromosomes are randomly arranged on the equatorial line to develop different combinations in future during anaphase first the homologous chromosomes separate and start to move to the opposite poles and the sister chromatids remains attached with each other at centromere finally telophase first and cytokinesis here cell divides into two daughter cells each of the daughter cell undergoes meiosis second meiosis second is similar to mitosis first stage of meiosis second is prophase second again chromosome condenses the nuclear envelope breaks down 
and spindle apparatus starts to form from opposite pole. Now here each daughter cell has only one copy of homologous chromosome so there is synapsis is not occur. In metaphase second chromosomes align on the equatorial line of a cells again the alignment is random sister chromatids are no longer identical many different possible ways these chromosomes align in anaphase second the sister chromatids separate due to spindle fibers or microtubules shorten and hence they move to the opposite poles in telophase second nuclear membrane reforms and cytoplasm is divided into two haploid daughter cells from each previous daughter cells this division is called cytokinesis so in meiosis first produces two cells from parent cell and again meiosis second produces two cells from previous cells thus four haploid cells are produced at the end of meiosis these cells are nothing but gametes they fuse to each other to produce embryo thank you Thank you very much.